greetings. Look, we both have pink on. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Jan Johnson, registered dietitian to the stars here mm -hmm. in Louisiana and um, the smartest gal I know is uh, here with me today on today's live. We are in her fabulous kitchen in her bayou side home in Jean Lafitte, Louisiana. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> we are having a great time. We totally nerded out this weekend at a SIBO conference. And for those of you who don't know what SIBO is, it's a small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. It is a very uh, misdiagnosed, underdiagnosed, and misunderstood um, gut issue that is non-autoimmune based, which I learned. I thought that that was autoimmune based. Um, it it's, was fascinating. And we could talk about SIBO till we were blue in the face and we will at some point. But one of the things that uh, she and I have been talking quite a bit today about is um, the vagus nerve. Yes. What stays in Vegas, <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and that's V-A-G-U-S. And I have a new complete and utter fascination with, um, with the vagus nerve and I am um, and I am um, particularly drawn to articles about it uh, my acupuncturist Sarah Kalb and I talk a lot about it and so Jan and I were just nerding out this morning talking about a bunch of sciencey things and she used a great description of the vagus nerve that I thought would be a great way to use a good five minutes here today. And um, so she's gonna explain that to you. But one of the things that's singularly most important for a gal like me and Jan's, we both use food as medicine to help people, um, is that what happens in the gut is really important to the rest of the body. And there's a, a, there is a rapidly unfolding science behind the vagus nerve and the brain-gut connection. And um, one of the things that I think we see very frequently with a lot of people is that um, I know a lot of people who are on antidepressants and are still depressed. And a lot of the reason that that is is because they're treating the brain chemically when the problem really is in the gut. Right. And so um, I'm not saying that there aren't people out there who don't need brain chemistry help. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there's that the science is changing and we're learning that there's more of a connection to the gut and that treating uh, problems like anxiety and depression can benefit from getting your microbiome straight in the gut in order to affect your brain in a positive way. So when Jane, Jan described what the vagus nerve was this morning, I said, oh my God, that is the easiest, most simple way for people to understand what's going on because I want you to start reading these articles that you see online about it because it's fascinating shit, man. It is. So could you explain to people what the vagus nerve is and how it's connected? Right. So when you, a woman becomes pregnant and you have this little bitty ball of cells that's getting ready to form the child, this, the, neuro, the cell bundles that end up being are, are, are part of your nervous sen, uh, central nervous, what we call the central nervous system, actually is a little bitty ball that separates and migrates. And part of it ends up being the brain, and the other part of it ends up in the gut. And in between those two nerve bundles runs a highway that we call the vagus nerve. And when we're stressed out up here, we convey the stress via the highway, the vagus nerve, down to our GI tract. And when we have things going on with our GI tract, our GI tract communicates the stress up through the highway, the vagus nerve, up to our brain. So a lot of what I do in my practice is I have um, individuals, uh, well, I just saw a young man the other day and he has a lot of anxiety issues and issues around food and so the point I made to him is are you using your breathing technique and he was familiar with it because his therapist said you need to use this breathing technique to calm yourself down but he didn't understand that there is that brain gut connection and and so for me to get him through his food issues it became really really important for him to understand the importance of doing the breathing technique because when you massage that diaphragm 
Your, your vagus nerve runs through your diaphragm, which sep separates your chest from your abdomen and your lungs from your intestines, basically. And when you inhale and press your diaphragm out and then you exhale, bringing that diaphragm in, you're essentially massaging the vagus nerve. And when you massage the vagus nerve, it basically helps calm everything down. So you get a calming of your gut and you get a calming of your brain. And we know this, there's been tons and tons of research on the effectiveness of something as simple as diaphragmatic breathing. We call it diaphragmatic breathing because it exercises that diaphragm. And that means sticking your belly out when you breathe. When you breathe in, you push your belly out. And that stretches the things that attach to the vagus nerve. Exactly. Exactly. Full belly breath. So Full you hear about belly, belly breathing breath. is what, yes. what really you need to do. Yeah, exactly. And so I do something as simple as um, inhale to the count of four, hold it to the count of six, exhale it to the count of eight. eight. So it's basically... Um, double the number when you exhale from what you've inhaled. So inhale to the count of four and exhaling to the count of eight. Right. Very simple. But I like that hold, that pregnant pause there so that your body kind of gets this. Because otherwise I find people get into this <sighs> and yep. that's more of a hyperventilation right. breathing, which isn't helpful and doesn't calm the system down. Right. So having you pause that time reminds you that that is a really right. important part of the breathing. But it helps my clients get in the rest to digest mode. We eat our food and I have to be reminded by Jody to <laughs> slow down. So We're not I'm human. I'm human. I'm human. I'm very human. But but we do. In order to be able to digest our food, we need to take that deep breath. We need to calm the system down so that our body can then start to produce the digestive enzymes that we need to break down our food. Right. But let's go back. I want to interrupt you for a second because I don't want to get lost on the, di the, 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 the meditation element is very important, the breathing element. But back to the fact that the, what's going on in the gut is communicating directly with the brain. You can't Absolutely. avoid it. You cannot avoid it. No. And you all know you have a gut feeling, right? You have a feeling in your gut when something is right or something isn't wrong. They're calling it the second brain of the body. It's connected to your brain. So if you got foggy brain, you're lethargic, you're exhausted, you have all these things going on, there's a really, really high possibility that it's your diet that's creating the problem right. and the dysbiosis or the imbalance in your gut of your microbiome. Exactly. So we're not solving all the problems of the world here today. We're just trying to get you connected with the brain gut connection and why food matters and what it can do to empower you or disempower you. Exactly. exactly. And nothing more. And I just really liked her very basic explanation of what it was. Because what you eat matters, kids. Yeah. You can try, but you can, you know, you can try and pretend that it's not important, yeah. but it is. So if your gut's not healthy, you will have a lot of brain fog and you a lot will of brain have a issues. Lot of a lot of brain issues. So that's what we're here to share with you today. We got tons of shit to share with you. <laughs> we just don't know where to start. And sometimes we can get carrying on like crazy Cajuns. Yeah. Um, so we're sharing that with you today. Jan and I are working really hard to bring you more information together. We work well together. We're very passionate about things and um, helping others. And so we just want to give you a little tidbit today that we thought was valuable based on conversation that we shared professionally this morning. So yes. stay tuned. There'll be more from um, Jan and I. Those of you who have tuned in know how to find me. Jan Johnson, J-A-N-J-O-H-N-S-O-N can be found if you Google her in New Orleans. She yes. does telemedicine. She does online consulting. She can help you from anywhere in the world. So that's it. We'll see you soon. All right. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Aye.